in Boston. LeBron James getting his early work in, getting himself ready to do, go after a, a baffling Game 5 performance against Rondo in the season. Kevin Garnett, they decided to put Shaq out there on him early on, and that backfired. It did. I think also it got off to a great start. Kevin Garnett got his confidence. The Boston Celtics also, they got wide open looks. But you got to give Mo Williams credit in that first quarter, in that first half, he was in attack mode. Yeah, he had 10 in the first quarter. Turnover here, Rondo will get it ahead to Ray Allen. Ray Allen! Oh, Ray! Ray, Ray! Way to find that following the youth, Mo Williams. Tony That's Allen with the steal now. And Rondo will get it back to Allen for a vicious Tony Allen. Oh, that's was, not the one. Tony Allen, was, but he was terrific off the bench. He gave them great enthusiasm, great energy. As you can see right here, just the misfortune, miscommunication. He needed the court to be about 97 feet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no <I>, longer. <laughs> that one, we weren't sure what was happening there. You can't uh, let Rondo attack you. You, look, you can't be on your heels. He's going to go by you every time. He finished with 21 points on the night. Mo Williams drives down the lane. And he'll finish. Great first half for Williams. You know, this is Mo Williams being a point guard. This is the most I've seen him handle the basketball in, in six games against the Celtics. Williams to the rim. Again, he had 20 in that first half. This time he finds Shaq for the layup, and Cleveland is up 43-42. Rondo called for his third foul there, and watch him implore Doc Rivers to no, leave good, him I'm in good, the I'm game. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. He Doc left him about, in. About, uh, what, 30 more seconds? Yeah, he came out, though. This is the oh. dunk I was, I was getting to. Tony yes. Allen with a vicious finish. Oh, Ooh-wee. Oh. Not a great series for Antoine Jameson and not a great moment for Antoine Jameson. Third quarter, things get a little interesting. Shaq and Kendrick Perkins, and that's a, wow. what oh. do you think, about 350 of uh, all, Shaq all, all on Kendrick all, Perkins. All on neck. <laughs> One, two, three. He's yes, out. <laughs> on Terrible. the other end, LeBron finds Shaq for the throwdown. We're tied at 57. Pierce finally gets it going. He'll knock down a three. Boston up by seven. Timely threes. That's what Boston Celtics hit tonight. Garnett steps into a jump shot. He's making that. I have to go out there and play that. So Boston's trying to make a run right here. He made those Cavs big pay when they put, put them on him. LeBron. Like a freight train. Rasheed Wallace didn't foul him hard enough. He gets the and one and got it within six. With the C swinging around, Pierce mm. knocks down another three. Boston another up by 12. I mean, those threes right there really hurt the Cavaliers because they were making a run. How important was Tony Allen in this series? Huge. I mean, I'm from the defensive end, right? As you see right here, they're still on, on, on LeBron James. And look at him leading the break, running out of transition. He gets the bucket also. He was terrific. He was terrific off the bench on both ends of the court. Matt and Eric, I think this is what they've been missing. They've been looking for another James Posey. Tony Allen kind of filled that role in this series. Early in the fourth quarter, LeBron James stepped into a couple of threes, and it suddenly got very interesting as Cleveland got themselves back within four at 78-74, but turnovers killed the Cavs all night long. Another one here leads to the Rondo finish to make it a six-point game. Then the Celtics out running again, as Doc Rivers said he wanted them to do from the get-go in this series. Pierce with the transition three, Boston back on top by nine. Pierce then to Rasheed Wallace, and that is easy money. And that's what I was talking about. These are big time threes. They didn't hit a lot of them, but their five was huge. Tony Allen gets another paw on it. Celtics running again. It'll be Garnett with the finish this time. They had 13 steals on the night. Yeah, I mean, and they're, they're still led to, to buckets, as you can see. Mm. LeBron James gets the um, easy little throw in. Put KG working. Triple double for him, but Garnett was a puzzle that the Cavaliers just could not solve. And there's LeBron walking off, peeling away the wine and gold of the Cleveland Cavaliers jersey for what Cavaliers fans hope is not the final time.